well, just one sniff and the heartless appeared. What would happen if I chugged the whole thing? That would be scary. Poor Jack, you can't hold a candle to Oogie Boogie. Time for Halloween Town to taste pain and despair beyond any nightmare. Pain and despair? Oogie, you monster! YOLO! <laughs> That's awesome. Come on, Jack. We've got to go after him. Alright. Uh, Oogie's boss fight in this game? Yeah? Kind of a pain. Really? It's... Well... It is a pain, but it is similar to uh, the first Kingdom Hearts game where you fight them. Mm -hmm. You're like in this casino area, and you're in on this uh, lower platform, and you have to uh, fulfill requirements in order to uh, go higher up. Uh huh. So yeah, it, it's uh, going to be a hassle. Wait, where? Which direction? Where? Down left. Okay. Right here. Oh! Better save! Better save! With everything that's happened so far. Do it. So who would you say, uh, your... Who would be your favorite Disney villain? Oh! <laughs> as, as I'm just asking because it seems quiet now and you're on your phone good, scrolling for good whatever. question. I'm actually updating my Pokemon home. Okay, um, understandable. Let's see. I'm gonna open the Favorite movie. Disney villain. Yeah. Of all time. Well, it'll be. Who will it be? Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Big time. So, uh, a live action Disney villain. Oh, big time. Okay. Favorite. 100%. The best depiction. Jeffrey Rush does the best depiction of a pirate. Of any and all time. Not even Captain Jack Sparrow? No, because Captain Jack Sparrow is like Captain Jack Sparrow. Right? Like, there's no other pirate like him. Okay. But Captain Barbosa is every pirate. Okay, so he would be what you would expect of a typical Correct. villainous pirate you encounter. Correct. Correct. Dead on. Okay. Um, here's a card pack for you, Kubo. Like, uh, um, that's exactly why. I mean, he's just, he's perfect. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, let me rephrase the question. Okay, let's hear it. Who, okay, who is your favorite cartoon Disney villain? Oh, gosh, that's tough. Captain Barbosa in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, no, that doesn't okay, count. No, that doesn't count. Um. <laughs> have you, have you, have you seen it? It's a weird crossover of... You got uh, Donald and Goofy as cartoony Disney characters. Right. You got Jack Sparrow, uh, Will Turner as uh, mm -hmm. uh, li live live action people, and then you got Sora who is an anime boy. Right. So that's like three different mediums in one. It's like WTF, Mike. <laughs> but I think, uh, oh gosh, favorite villain. It doesn't have to be a modern cartoon villain. It could be. Cl Classic Disney villain. Um. That's really tough. Like, which one do I think is, like, the best? Hmm. Oh, I meant to talk while we're the side, but I can just go Ooh, I would say. Uh, oh my gosh, it's hard. Whiskey Pete. Or Stinky Pete. Oh, from Toy Story from 2? Toy Story 2. Okay. Yep. Because when I first saw it in theaters, completely blindsides you with his, like, him being as bad as it's he like, was. It's like, wait, wait, why is... He is... Why is Stinky Pete being so mean? I thought he because was one of the good even, guys. Uh, even Al from Al's Toy Barn isn't as despicable as Stinky Pete. Al's Toy Barn, okay, what did Al do? He was set to make over a million dollars by stealing wood. Right, Right. Or yes. at the very least, a hundred grand, right? Like, whatever that is. That's admissible. It's like, you know what? He was blinded by a desire for money, whatever that might be. Stinky Pete was just a douche and jealous of 
Jesse and Woody having kids to play with them. Right, yes. That was it. Like, that That was it. And then he was just, like, a douchebag. Fair? I'll tell you what's not fair. Exactly. Spending a lifetime on a dime store shelf while every other toy is being sold. Exactly. So he's just jelly. Yeah. Mad jelly. Yep. Um, okay, I'm trying it. So that's why I think he's probably my favorite because I would say he's the most despicable because most Disney villains are kind of admissible. Okay. Like, like they're likable? No, not even likable, but just like their motives are fairly reasonable. So for example, right. let's let's talk about this. Okay. Okay. Jafar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Royal Vizier, basically right hand man of the Sultan. Right? Yes. The Sultan in Aladdin is kind of weak, right? He's not really a um, yeah, yeah, he's great. Just, he's not really a great leader. Yeah, he's just uh, he's just trying to get his uh, daughter married. Like exactly. Oh, well, I want kids, Jasmine. Exactly. This might do being possibly a sixteen-year-old baby. Exactly. <laughs> right. And then and so it's not. He's not um, a great leader, really. And essentially, who's leading the kingdom is Jafar, anyway, right? Is Jafar a great, a great guy? No, but you know what? At the same time, he's willing to do the job, and like that's admissible, right? And he's trying to figure out ways to make sure that he has the ability to lead the kingdom and be a good, a good ruler, I guess, more or less. Um, but uh, trying to all of the, uh, I don't know. I think that, um, then, so for example, it's, it's admissible. It's like, hey, you know, he's, he's taking care of stuff, right? He's ruling the kingdom while the, while the uh, Sultan isn't, right? Um, <laughs> okay. Playing with the toys. Let's look at, um, oh, another really good one. That's probably the one that scared me the most was Stromboli. Who? From Pinocchio. Oh, oh, the the puppeteer? No, yeah, sort of the guy who uh, runs uh, Pleasure Island. Oh, the the guy in the big red coat. Yeah. Guy who like takes all the the mules and sells. Them Honestly, to I could see that because it's just that one frame where like he and the two other guys that Pinocchio ran into, mm -hmm. uh, like when he uh, said his line like they won't come back as boys, uh -huh. like that face he makes. I remember like being like mm -hmm. spooked. Uh, look at that, that. Yep. They won't come back as boys. You know, just yep. like lean forward. Exactly, exactly. He's terrifying. Basically make like a, a Grinch. He's a really smile. terrifying villain. If, if I am if I put my money on like which one was probably the scariest, the one that like really freaked me out, mm -hmm. that one. Right. Because even, um, I mean, the uh, the queen from uh, Snow White, right? I mean, of course, yeah. she was, of course she was vain, of course. I, but isn't everybody a little bit? Right, again, it's admissible. Right, I mean, yeah, her motives were probably, were very selfish, probably. She just wanted to be the prettiest uh, in the land, right? Yeah. But, Pinky Beat still sucks. Right? Like, no matter how you slice him. It's like, who cares about your happiness? He's I, I want to. just jelly. Yeah. Plus, he was mean to Buzz. Called him a space toy. Right. And he got what he deserved, which was really awesome. Professor, uh, Buzz Lightweight can't help you now. Or was it was it Light Beer? But Buzz Lightweight. But no, that's what uh, what he calls him in the first one. Mr. All right, Buzz Mr. Light, Light Beer. Buzz Prove Light it. Beer. It's really funny. But um, really, there's a uh, but yeah. So and then other other villains um, like the evil step or the the evil stepmother from uh, Cinderella. Uh, Cinderella. Um, you know, she she wasn't really Cinderella's real mom and stuff like that. So, you know, there's like some challenges there, right? Blending a family together and, you know, she wanted her kids to do really good. And Cinderella just happened to be in the way of that. But, um, even that, still admissible, right? There's still some emotion there that you can do, right? Um, even if the motivations are selfish, which most of the cases they are, and Disney villains, still there's like ways that you can like uh, I guess excuse them based on human actual human emotions <clears throat> and like human desires or whatnot. Let's see what's up. Shit, 
Alright, let's look at sick. Hold still. It's not for your bath. Oh. No, 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 no bath for him. Nope. No, uh, like Sid. Okay. What kid never destroyed a toy at least once? Sid. Right. Or, no, like what? Real kid never actually destroyed a toy on purpose and then lived to regret it. Literally every kid in the world. Right. I don't think anybody, like, really took it as far as he did and just continued on the practice. Ooh. Right. I feel like he still did it, uh, just excessively. Oh, that's perfect right there, right there. Oh, you know, I should have gone, oh. I should have gone with the Sonic Blade instead. Uh, and that's the... Uh, the first three attack cards I had set up, but I've already used them. But, um, like, like that's happened before. And even lots of, well, lots of just, uh, like, on Toy Story. This is just, like, a Toy Story kick, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'd say Stromboli when I was a kid scared me the most. Wait, Stromboli, maybe Monstro. Hmm. That was a little... The Monstro was kind of like my first Jaws. Actually, yeah, it would be a children-appropriate Jaws. Yep, yep, I saw it, saw that one, and that one freaked me out, like, going yeah. in pools and whatnot. I was really scared of, like... It's like, oh, what if Monstro... Kiss me. Well, yeah. Well, that's and, and, like, that's the thing. Is, like, you know, you watch... take that uh, that one sign that used to be on the pool that says uh -huh. like sharks will show up if you sharks pee in show, it. Sharks show up when you pee in it. It's really funny. Okay, this is Sonic Lake. Gosh, that's good. Woo! <laughs> one hit. Uh, more like one slight. I like it. No, nah, but um, that's the. I guess those are the villains that scare me the most. But the ones that I like probably the most just because they're so terrible, like I said, with uh, Stinky Pete. But... You really are Stinky Pete, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. And then he rips Woody's arm again with a pick. Just be a douche. Yeah. Really, like, that that one... That one guy that was sewing the arm back together, like... He didn't have to ruin it. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but that old guy that uh, fixes up Woody... Uh-huh. Same guy, or character, from uh, that one Pixar short film. Yeah, when he's like playing chess. Yeah, by himself. So I think, um, let's see. Other Disney okay, things, time to water my plants. <laughs> There's a, uh, like I would say, I said that one, that's the one that scared me the most, like I said. Uh, Stromboli. Oh, wow, the that was... Uh, but... Let's see, what are you kidding? Maleficent, not really. She turned into a dragon, and that was cool. And then Phil gets to fight the dragon, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, it spews, like, green flame. It's sick. It's cool. But, um... But, uh, uh, you're not in favor of Maleficent being your favorite? No, no, no. She doesn't even make it. it doesn't even make top ten. <laughs> um... So, so who are your top ten? Top ten Disney villains. Strumbling, probably the first Monstro. Um, Pinocchio. So you're going three. from one to ten. Oh, from one to ten. So like most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strumbling, Monstro. Um, I would say. Um, or are we talking about ones that scared me, or like ones that like I like? Uh, ones you like. Oh, ones that I like. Okay, so you uh, first. Uh, number one. Um, number two. Uh, Mother Gothel from. Uh, Tangled? Tangled, yeah. Okay. She is freaking terrible. Right, so which and she does the character really good justice. Like yeah, that's good. Um then um so that's two. Uh the um uh crab from Moana. Uh Tika? No, 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 no. I can't think of the name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Also mentions uh uh, Sebastian at, yep. at the post credit scene. Yep. And so, the, uh, no. so yeah, the, like, that was probably number three because I love the song that he sings. That shiny song is freaking awesome. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, I think, um, um, let's see. That's three, four, Sid. No, no, or, sorry, Al from Al's Toy Barn. Um, five. 
Five D. What's in the top? What's in the top five? Stay above Jafar. Okay. Sure. So that Jafar, Captain Hook, number six. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I gotta heal up fast. Um, really quick. Um. Heffalumps and Weasels. Yeah, but it's not really a <laughs> Disney villain, so to speak, but it was still something that was scary. Like when I was a kid, the Heffalumps and Weasels song used to freak me out. Well, like okay. When I was really little. I mean, I, was like but, I mean, there's even like a, a new-ish Winnie the Pooh character yeah, yeah, named Lumpy. Like, yeah, yeah, it's uh, the Heffalump. Yeah. Yeah, so, but like back in the day, like for the original Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, that one freaked me out. Um, then, uh, let's see. What's number eight? Oh, I was just thinking of a Disney villain, but I can't remember who it was. Um, oh, okay. So, obviously, I'm not going to be able to list, like, villains from uh -huh. top to bottom. Right. Um, I think. Syndrome is a pretty good villain. He's a good villain. I'll, I'll put him in number with, with eight. A, that with, sense. with a really good uh, backstory, mm -hmm. considering that, like, you know, he wants to help Mr. Incredible as a kid, but then, mm -hmm. like, he turned him down, and it's like, okay, it's payback for mm -hmm. being a jerk wannabe, you know? Right. Let's see. I put Syndrome in number eight. That's good. Hopper. Ah, uh, Hopper from, from uh, Bugs Life. Bugs Life, yep. Hopper from Bugs Life. And then, number 10, Disney villains. Just barely found out this is Disney. The Ants from James and the Giant Peach. The, the Ant? Oh, oh the, the, the Aunts. Aunts, yes. I mean, from James okay, and the it's Giant like, Peach. wait, I don't remember seeing uh, any I don't think, I don't think bugs. Any no, 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 there's like a spider, a centipede, ladybug. Um, yeah, the Aunts from James and the Giant Peach. For sure, those two freaking. Oh me yeah, out. they're awful. They're terrible. absolutely. And then the, even the let's see, let's see. It's like oh, we've saved some food for you, but then it's just like really gross looking food. Yeah, just a fish head. Yep. All right, it's not. Well, it's not. It's. Let's see, just a sec. Either them or the shark uh, mech thing that was on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or no, no. Uh, I guess uh, the main big villain would be the the rhino. Yeah, but that one never was really good. It wasn't, like, prominent. Or it didn't appear as often. But yeah, they look terrible. Terrifying. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Freak you out, man. Hey, I'm gonna turn the volume down just a smidge. Gotcha. It sounded... Even though it's low, it sounds very loud. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's see. I... Did I already fight enemy? Whoa, no, I didn't. Okay, apparently I lost track. Whoa, okay. Uh, I just remembered. I just opened up a new room. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep fighting enemies. Gonna get more XP. Then there's the shark from James and the Giant Peach. That was freaky because it had that harpoon thing in the middle. Yes, it did have a harpoon. Also, there was a uh, an undead pirate in that movie. That was who pretty also good, who but... also happened to look like Jack Skellington. <laughs> yep. Gosh, dude, I have not seen James and the Giant Peach nor images from James and the Giant Peach for a long time. Oh, it's on Disney Plus. I uh, I remember just playing it uh, like uh, a little while ago, just to have some noise in the house. It's very nostalgic. One thing that throws me off though is um, uh, that one guy that gives uh, James like this bag of uh, crocodile tongues, the uh, glowing ones. Yeah, um, like this dude just like shows up out of nowhere and then just gives him to, uh, to James. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, 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 let me see. 
It's like, is he, is he like some kind of spirit or? Uh, oh, I can level up. Um, give me HP. Because, okay, so like where James lived on, it was like this island, mm -hmm. right? Right. And uh, there yeah. were there were residents besides James and his aunts, but mm -hmm. obviously there were uh, a lot more people that came to see the the peach, right? Right. So was he also a citizen of that island, or was he just some dude that helped change James? Fate. I think it was the representation of death. I'm kidding. I have no freaking Wait, idea. Wait, what the hell are you going no, no, on? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Or are you, are you just spewing random nonsense? Just spewing random nonsense. Okay. I'm just looking at the uh, at images of the uh, crocodile tongues. Because they were like wrapped up in a... Uh... In a plastic bag. Yeah, well like... No, no, or, it was, or no, it was, no. It was... Uh, it was um, they were wrapped up in uh, a little... Uh, paper hot air balloon that Jameson made. Right. Now, so at the end of it all, James lives in the pit in New York City with the characters from the movie, right? Uh, ooh, I don't remember what house it was. I remember that James was living with the bugs, but I don't remember what the house looked like. It very well could be the Hit of that peach that they were all riding on. Yeah, I think it was. Cast. Let's see if there's anyone in there that surprises us. Uh, that one kid in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was Johnny Depp. Fire. Oh, interesting. Fire. So, uh, Fire. Paul Terry apparently was James the James. His spider, Susan Sarandon, Marion Margol Mar Margolis, one of the ants, Joanna Lumley, and. Let's see. Um. Yeah, his his uh, parents get killed by a a rhino. Was it? <coughs> I thought uh, that ants preferred it as uh, like uh, his parents actually got killed by the that cloud rhino in the sky. Right, right, right. But there was an actual rhino on that island that James was living on, like like a like a real living rhino. Here's the here's the thing. Let's see. Okay. James, happy life at English Seaside has really ended when his parents are killed by a rhinoceros. And he goes to live with his two horrid ants. Daringly saving the life of a spider. Oh wait, he goes to live with his ants. Right. Okay, I thought um the ants just moved in. Yeah. With uh, with James. He comes into possession of magic boy crocodile tongues. After which an enormous peach starts to grow in the garden. Venturing inside, he meets not only the spider, but another new friend, including the ladybug, and said he can help him and his plans to be trying to get to New York. Let's see. Close connections. User reviews. The book is better than a nice adaptation. That was in 1999. I didn't even know you, yeah, IMDb was around in 1999. Oh, I'm getting... Oh, no, I'm getting a lot of friend cards because of the room I'm in. But yeah, that, that was... Uh, um, that was ridiculous. Like, that was... That movie freaked me out so much when I was a kid. Like just uh, what's it called? Of that like just that like claymation. His, his, well, aesthetic. his his aunts like, and then like okay, so here's here's the here's the shtick there, okay, right? Like I knew and I was old enough when the movie came out because it came out in '96. I was five. I knew that you couldn't drive a car across the Atlantic Ocean. 
to get to New York, like his aunt had done. Because they come up, rolling up in their car, yeah, all water at, at, at the end of the movie. Right. <laughs> and so, like, but, it's such a, a crazy story anyway, but I don't know. Like, that freaked me out, then like the freaking shark thing did. Like, but I thought that was kind of cool, like a, a mech shark or whatever. I thought that was pretty sick. But, um, like, just the, the aunts, the, the rhino, the whole thing. I mean, I was five. Yeah. Right, so it freaked me out a little bit. But then again, when I was that age... Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save. Sweet. Good save. I, I don't want to die and then have to go through all these rooms all again. again. Yeah, because, like, uh, back then, I mean, I'd seen Jaws, so that freaked me out enough. But, um, it's just freaking crazy. Like, I don't know how my parents let me watch Jaws when I was that age. I was scared to get in a bathtub. <laughs> you, you, you think like a, a, a gigantic shark would just Dead serious, come dude. out of your tiny bathtub? Well, like now you look at it, you're like, oh, you know, it's obviously a movie prop. Right, you see it. Back then, let's take us all the way back to the 90s, folks. All the way back to 1995. That movie freaked me out. Like, and then forget about getting in like large bodies of water. I was afraid of sharks in lakes. And then my aunt, I still remember this. A I, little bit reasonable. reasonable. Right. So then my, my aunt at the time told me that sharks could live in lakes. Could they actually? Yes. Uh, Ooh. Bull sharks specifically. Right. So my aunt Judy, like, I, can't, I still remember we, we'd gone up to Bear Lake for a family reunion. And we were there. And my mom was telling us, you know, sharks can't live in fresh water. And then my Aunt Judy was like, yeah, they can. And then my mom was like, what? And I was like, what? <laughs> and then uh, she was said something to the effect of, um, like, yeah, they found some sharks in in uh, uh, fresh water way away from the ocean. And then my mom was like, no. Uh, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And so that whole trip, I was freaked out about getting in the water. I can't remember how old I was. I think it was, like, later than that. But, like, um... Still kind of freaked me out, right? Like that was just still one of those things that kind of spooked me, right? And and now now I know that like uh, bull sharks can live in fresh water. You just have to know if uh, they're already living there. Well, essentially they, they they swim up the Mississippi River. Oh really? Yeah. The, oh, the, big time. The the city river. The Mississippi River. Oh Mississippi. Okay. Mississippi, Mississippi River. Mississippi. I thought you said like, wait, okay, wait. Just like, so a shark can like swim up to a city. Well, river? I, li I lived in I lived in Kansas for a while, so it's the Arkansas River too. Mm. <coughs> Oogie, hand over the potion. You fools don't know when to quit. Say, all this running around is making me thirsty. Oogie, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm just I'm just gonna pop this open. Gosh, that's refreshing. I, I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink some Mountain Dew. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's a delicious potion. Down the hatch. Wow, that came out of that bottle way faster. <laughs> oh yeah, it was just like a <laughs> came out like a bucket. Just whoop. Oh no. Oh dear. Ah, Rick smacking good. All the bugs inside him were like, "Yo, that was not great." Huh? Uh, uh, what's this? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, something's wrong. Something deep inside me. Something... Scary. Spooky. Oogie, what's going on? No, get back! Stay away from me! So now he's scared of you? Yeah. Kinda strange. All right. Oh, baby. So. Oh, baby. So I think that involves. Do we actually have to hit the dice, or? Oh, baby. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, I probably should have packed in like a lot of. Zeros or nines. 
Don't, don't push me out! Don't you push me out when I'm using- Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh, that- okay, that is frustrating. Okay. Such a useful move, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 look at that! That's a lot of damage. I don't know, right when I. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Alright. Okay. Just gonna have these zeros ready. Alright, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Good. Douche. Good. And just got him bad. So glad I don't have to fight him twice. Nice. Don't worry. You don't actually fight him twice. It's just that I'm just saying that I'm glad I don't have to fight him twice. As in, like, I waste my good cards and right. then I have to lose and then do the whole thing again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, card. <sighs> All right. Uh, I think his card is actually pretty good. I think mm -hmm. it restores your health over time. Oh, nice. I, I like think. It. Confound that woogie woogie! He drank nearly all of my precious potions! <laughs> potion seller. Potion seller, I am going to battle. I and I need one of your strongest potions. You can't handle any of my strongest potions! 